right, so it is currently 8.30 in the morning. I spent the last hour or so checking out two spots here on the river. And uh, this time of year, I'm just making some stops, checking out the conditions, seeing if it feels fishy, and just working my way down from there. So the first two spots didn't look that promising. And we're just gonna keep on checking out some more spots to see if we can find some trout. Oh my God, off camera. I have a giant on right now. I hope I got him a, a good hook on him. This is huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, gotta keep the tension. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, he does not like that. You gotta let him run. Holy crap. 5X leader, so gotta play this carefully. Oh my gosh, can't turn him. Wow. Oh my God, my forearm. Oh, he's barely hooked too. <sighs> on the, on the nymph. Oh no, I don't like it when he turns like that. All right, I gotta try to get above him. Holy crap, you see him right there? Okay, okay, we got this. Oh, he got scared. Definitely got scared. This way, buddy, come on. Oh, we got like, one shot, because once he sees us, he's gonna freak out. Huge. Come on, buddy, this way. Oh my God, look at that thing. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Holy crap. Look at that tiny fly. That's it. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm in shock right now. We bonked it already, so it's pretty much not suffering anymore. We cut him, he's bleeding out. Slow morning, and then all of a sudden, we just hooked that guy out of nowhere. I wish I could have got the initial hookup. Crazy. That is on the DHSH from downstream downrange. Dan, just got that monster on your fly, man. I'll definitely leave his link. He's another YouTube channel, does a lot of fishing in Adirondacks, Catskills, and he ties his own flies. So I picked some of these up off of him. I've done really well on them in the past and just got that beauty on that. I'm definitely gonna take this one home. We're gonna make something awesome with it, treat it well, and uh, that's all you can do. I'm really thankful to uh, catch a trout like this today. And we are going to put it to use. Super exciting, guys. So nothing else at that one spot. I hopped in the car, on to the next one. I have about four or five spots that I wanted to check out today but man I'm just I'm feeling very grateful right now to be able to catch a fish like that man it's just a great day to be out here can't beat it first cast on the woolly bugger right here. Whoa. There he is. 
this. Whoa! Come on, buddy. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Another beauty right there. <laughs> nice. We're going to let this guy go right back. All right, buddy. Ready? There he is. Nice. That's it right there. Just a little woolly bugger. Olive. I think it's size 10. All right, well, that was a pretty good little research day. Went to a bunch of spots, tried looking for some trout. We were successful. I'd say pretty dang successful with that beautiful trout we got. We only ever hooked one more at a different spot. Really only a few fish today, but the fish we did get were worth it. I definitely would call today success though. Couldn't be happier with that one fish. So we're gonna go cook that one up. Play them like I do any trout, salmon. Right down to the spine. Then you're just gonna go at an angle and follow the spine down. You gotta get through these pin bones. under the rib bones. Just kind of go diagonal, go with them. Now with the smaller trout, this is a pain, but the bigger trout, you can actually take these pin bones out. You're just gonna grab them and just pull up. Salmon don't have nearly as many as uh, trout do. You gotta get through them, but this way, it's completely boneless. I just run my finger right here. You can feel them all sticking up right there. Ooh, got two. Yeah, you see they have like 15 of these little bones. But now that's completely bone free. So we are gonna cook a little dish here with that trout. Gonna try to keep it seasonal with my ingredients here and I'll show you what I'm cooking up right now. First, we gotta get some stuff roasting, and this is a delicata squash. Now we have some rainbow carrots. I'm gonna trim those up as well. Leaving the skin on. Just gonna trim them up, cut them in half. Put some olive oil on this. A little salt and pepper, and we're gonna roast this off at 400. And that is gonna be our roasted all veggies. Now we're gonna make a puree, and this is gonna be a apple beet puree. I'm gonna cut up that apple. You can do nice, big, thick pieces. We're going to do half an onion, and then we're going to do a few of these cooked beets. Some butter in there. Get the onion going. We're going to put our apple in there. 
and the beets. Whoop. And we're gonna season that salt and pepper. All right, now that we got a little saute on that, in with the heavy cream. We're gonna let that all cook until it gets soft. Look at that. It's starting to cook down, get all silky. It's about time to blend it up. And there it is, apple beet puree. This is all of our fall roasted veggies. We are gonna season both sides of this fish, salt and pepper. This is the skin side, this is the nice side. You always put that nice side down. So you can see that white part of the fish is just cooking and traveling up the fish. I like to wait until I get a little bit more than half, maybe three quarters of the way cooked on the one side. That means I'll get a really nice crisp. I think that's about now, and then you'll see, you get a really nice sear. Look at that. We're just gonna finish it off. A little bit of butter. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm gonna start plating up with this apple beet puree. And we are just going to sporadically place our veggies. That's our delicata squash. Finish it off with that rainbow trout. These are some pea shoots. And there you have it. That's that fall trout seared with a mixture of fall veggies, beet puree, apple beet puree. Looking really good. Can't wait to try this one. All right, let's get it started. Fall trout. Excited. Mm. Nice crisp. Yeah, you can see that crunch. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> mm. Fans on. That puree goes with this so, so well. The fish is just cooked perfectly. It's still moist and tender. It's kind of hard too, because trout can be a little bit more lean. Mm. No, it's perfect. It's got that sweetness in the puree from the beets and the apples. Oh yeah. Really complements that, the saltiness going on and everything else. Mm. Mm. I just got a bite of a little bit of everything. Mm. <laughs> like the squash. Carrots. Mm. The puree. Mm. Like everything goes together so well. <laughs> that is delicious. Mm -hmm. This tastes amazing. Simple ingredients too, anything that people can make at home as well. That was so good. So good. I really recommend trying that out on some trout. Um, thanks for joining us everyone. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a really great time out on the water, cooked up an amazing meal and just had a great time. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. And until we catch or cook something else, we'll see you next time on The Line Cook. See you guys.